A 12 kg box resting on a horizontal frictionless surface is attached to a 5 kg weight by a thin light wire that passes over a frictionless pulley. The pulley has the shape of a uniform solid disc of mass 2 kg and diameter 0.5 meters. After system is released, find the tension in the wire on both sides of the pulley. B. The acceleration of the box and C. The horizontal and vertical components of the force that the axle exerts on the pulley. This is the free body diagram of the given picture. And uh, we have to write the force equations for both the 5 kg mass and 12 kg mass and also for the pulley. For the 5 kg mass, we have the forces Fg acting downwards and then Ftv, that means tension, vertical tension upwards. Therefore, sigma Fi is equal to Fg minus Ftv is equal to M2A. Plugging in the values, we get FTV is equal to 49 minus 5A is the equation. Now, for 12 kg mass, FG and FN balance each other. And then FTH is responsible for the acceleration. Therefore, sigma FX is equal to FTH is equal to M1A or FTH is equal to 12A. Now, coming to the pulley. For pulley, the moment of inertia is equal to half MR square. And mass is 2 kilograms, R is equal to 0.25 meters. Now, the torque. Torque is equal to I alpha and we know torque is equal to R cross F bar. Here, the F, we have to take the difference in the um, tensions. Vertical tension produces the clockwise moment, whereas the horizontal tension produces the counterclockwise moment. Now, I alpha is equal to R cross F bar. And then the equations we have half MR square into I alpha means half MR square into A by R is equal to R times 49 minus 5A minus 12A. On simplifying, we get A is equal to 2.72 meters per second square. Now, uh, FTH is equal to 12A. Therefore, put A is equal to 2.72. We get the horizontal tension as 32.67 newtons. Next, for the vertical tension, Again, you have to substitute uh, A is equal to 2.72 in the equation 49 minus 5A. So we get the vertical tension as 35.4 newtons. Now, horizontal component of the force is just 32.67 newtons. No other force acting on this unbalanced force is there. So that is the only force that we have to write. And then Y component forces, we have the weight of the uh, pulley and also the weight of the 5 kg mass. If we add both, we will get 55 newtons. This is the Y component force. This is the answer for this question. Hope this helps. Thank you. Bye-bye.